Welcome to my kitchen. I'm glad to be back. It's been a busy gardening season. The weather was cold, then it got warm, then it got cold, then it got colder, but we've got our gardens all planted and we're ready to start eating wonderful local food fresh because in the wintertime, of course, you have to eat it not fresh. But it's June in North Dakota, and you know what's in season in June? Rhubarb. So yesterday I had the pleasure of meeting Mary Ann Weary Lair for an interview for our latest project for the Germans from Russia called The Women Behind the Plow. We'll talk more about that as we go along this summer and do interviews and collect photographs, and hopefully you will join us for the final product in mm, October of 2015, or maybe even a sneak peek earlier. However, part of the interview process is having coffee, and with that coffee came pie yesterday. A delightful pie made of, guess what, rhubarb. There's plenty of rhubarb to be found in North Dakota now. If you live in a small town, I'll bet you could find it hidden behind every garage, in every lot, in every corner. But be sure and ask permission first before you start pulling it out of the ground. So, in addition to getting half that rhubarb pie to take home with me and share with my husband, I also received a fistful of rhubarb. Now, our rhubarb was killed off by the flood about three years ago, and so it's not quite up to picking yet. So, I got this. I'm grateful for it. I already have a pie. So, what comes with pie? Ice cream! Yay! So, today we're going to do a simple rhubarb ice cream recipe. You need sugar, you need lemon juice, you need rhubarb and an oven. You don't even need an ice cream freezer. Oh, you need some whipping cream. Uh, buy a quart. It's mm, somewhere between four and seven dollars depending upon where you get it. And of course, if you don't have an ice cream freezer, you'll be probably needing to, needing to beat that up a little bit with a mixer. But I'm going to use my ice cream freezer. You can get wonderful ice cream freezers for small ice cream batches for about $50 on Amazon.com. And I'll share that with you later on when we freeze our ice cream. Right now, let's prepare our rhubarb. There are those folks that believe that you should peel rhubarb uh, before you use it. But since we're going to be processing this in an oven, I'm not going to be too picky about it. Sometimes rhubarb has a stiffer crust on it. This is very young and very tender. See, it has a little blush at the end. But usually my mom just cut that root end off and did a couple of swipes through there. So that's what you want to be doing there, peeling your rhubarb and washing off all the extra dirt. But don't forget that you want to uh, preheat your oven to 375, probably our first step. And you'll need a cookie sheet to put your rhubarb on. And we compost our scraps, and so those are going over there. We need about three cups of rhubarb. We're going to use a, a big old dirty uh, measuring cup here. I made bread and there's a little bit of crust on there from the flour, but that's okay. All right, so you just want to um, cut that up into little cubes, just as if you were making a pie. We also have some wonderful some other wonderful rhubarb recipes that we can share with you later on. I'm hoping that I will get a little bit of rhubarb out of my bun, out of my uh, newly planted rhubarb from a couple years ago. Oh, maybe it was only last fall. Okay, once we got that rhubarby, bebop a rhubarb, once we got our bebop a rhubarb kind of peeled, like I said, that's really personal preference. Um, yeah, see this is a bigger stock, maybe has a little more uh, rough stuff on the end, but roughage is good for you. Um, I really want these to be, oh, I'd really like to leave more of that red in there. Our rhubarb is the red rhubarb kind. Oh, the color is amazing, amazing. Ooh, here we go. This should probably be BB enough. It was probably in nearly 10 sticks of rhubarb. So, you just want to... 
my camera angle is off and of course my makeup person is out of town for the rest of my life so you're just gonna have to bear with me here as far as uh, um, our little archaic method of uh, showing you how to do something okay so oh easily three cups of rhubarb oh there's a little extra well never mind we're gonna throw that in there anyway so simply get that rhubarb into the pan now don't freak out on me but you're gonna need two cups of sugar Rhubarb is very tart, and of course you have to add a lot of sugar to it in order to make it edible. And while sugar, yeah, you know, I should cut out some sugar in my diet, um, once in a while it wouldn't hurt anybody. It's really hard when you're visiting with people all the time. and um, It's a good German tradition to invite people into your home, when you invite people into your home, to feed them. I've received numerous apologies for people who neglected to feed me while I was doing their interviews are visiting with them. Not necessary. I enjoyed the company of these women that I'm interviewing. It's just been an awesome experience getting to know them. It's amazing to me. Ah, I don't know what to use. It's amazing to me what some of these women have lived through. Um, some of them have had wonderful lives. Some of them have had really difficult lives. But get that, um, get that sugar. Part of this whole thing will be that toasty sugar. This will create kind of like the sauce, which will be the basis for the ice cream. And then, of course, you add the cream. Um, and we're going to do some choke cherries later on, too. But choke cherries aren't yet in season, so we have to stay seasonal. That's part of eating local. All righty then. Um, I'm going to do that. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice over that. It does something to the sugar, and I can't remember what it was, but it's just there for a flavor enhancer type of thing. Unless I can't find any lemon juice, then we're in trouble. Um, I usually have the bottled stuff. Hmm. Um, I usually have fresh lemons, but today I only have this concentrate. concentrate um, and it just happens to be frozen. So we're going to have to wait a few minutes till we can sprinkle our lemon juice on there. Ooh, it almost came out of its container. I really like that container, don't you? I used to play with the le little lemons that we got a long time ago. Oh, never mind, got sidetracked. Okay, 25 minutes in a 375 degrees oven. Um, keep an eye on it, sugar burns, and we'll be back with the next steps in a bit. Hey, we have leftover rhubarb, so bonus recipe. We're gonna make some rhubarb tea. Sorry. We took and cut up our leftover rhubarb into about three inch pieces. Now this will get strained out of there so we didn't peel it very carefully. And you wanna add eight cups of water and let it simmer for about an hour. Strain it off, pour it over ice, add a little agave syrup or something to sweeten it, and ta-da, you have a refreshing rhubarb drink. Now get out there and pick that rhubarb. Don't waste any of it. Here's our rhubarb glop, and that's exactly what it looks like, rhubarb glop. But as you can see, the sugar has kind of like turned into a syrup, which will be the basis of your ice cream, and that rhubarb will become the flavoring. Ooh la la. Now it is a little hot here, and we are using an ice cream freezer, so if you're not using an ice cream freezer, the recipe will vary just a little bit. And if you need that recipe, you're just going to have to call me. Okay, so I usually mix my ice cream up in the same dish that I'm going to store the ice cream in, in the freezer once it's done. Uh, but before you can put it in the freezer, it has to be very cool. So let's put the glop, sure and all, into the 
bowl. Don't want to miss any of that delightful rhubarb syrup. Sorry, you probably can't see anything but the back of the dish pan at, or the cookie sheet at the moment. There we go. In we go. You want to probably get this in the sink right away because we all know how sugar likes to stick to things. And as it'll cool, it'll get it'll get kind of like a caramelized syrup, like what you'd put on popcorn balls. So here's when. Okay, lovely looking stuff, isn't it? The redder the rhubarb, the more beautiful, of course, this is gonna look. So what we want to do now is add that teaspoon of lemon juice. That'll do. And then, my favorite new tool, one can never have enough kitchen tools, correct? Stick blender, I love this thing. Oops, get it connected. We're gonna very quickly whoop this up. Works good for anything that you want smooth and pureed. Don't get the handle in there, there we go. Okay, so I fibbed a little. If you want to make ice cream, you just continue by adding one cup of heavy whipping cream into this and using your stick blender and just beating the crap out of it and it'll get like light and fluffy and you can freeze it and eat it like a dessert. But we are going to, I don't know if I want to put the cream in there, it's an awful lot. We're going to uh, mix the cream in and let it set and use the ice cream freezer and I will show you that a little bit later on. Ooh, nice. We got to get every last bit of cream out of there too. Yep, my sticky is already starting to stick there with my cookie sheet, so I'm just going to give it a little extra just for good luck. Don't tell anybody I did that. Now, it's not the most appetizing color in the world, so if I were you, I'd look for the reddest rhubarb I ever could find for this recipe. You could add some food coloring if you like, but you never know what it's going to do once it's frozen and, and uh, actually um, ice cream freezered. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's going to be so wonderful. We're going to just scrape that off, and I'll show you as soon as this is cooled off. It has to be completely cooled off to be put in the ice cream freezer. So, I'll be back. Ooh, making ice cream is noisy, isn't it? Here's our little Cuisinart. I think it makes probably a quart or so of ice cream at a time. Just perfect for two people. And so we took our chilled rhubarb mix from this morning and put it in the ice cream freezer and voila! Mmm, oh, mmm, oh. Mmm! Oh my goodness! Try it. You'll like it. That's all for today, folks! Mmm! Mmm! Oh my god, you wanna taste this?